okay so now i'm going to create my application so let's close this one and uh, here i'm opening my vs code i have installed the laravel application right i have just installed the laravel application using the composer so command is very simple let me show you so command is here if i call this composer create project laravel slash laravel laravel view app and i name this laravel view app or uh, if you are doing this uh, if you install the laravel globally so simply you can create your laravel application as you are doing the laravel application uh, before this use without vue.js right so it's pretty much identical okay and after that uh, we need to now install the vue.js right so we need to install the vue.js into our application so right now if i go here and run this out i'm using laragon so it will create subdomain for me that's why i'm going to run this out and uh, here i'm going to say that uh, uh, but, uh, this one is my application name laravel uh, view app dot test okay and yes my laravel application is now working fine right so i want to install the vue.js so for the vue.js you need to go here and just type this so uh, install install vue.js in laravel 10 right just search it like this and then open this so laravel daily.com click on this thing and here this one is now teaching that how you can add the vue.js into the laravel 10 right so in the laravel 10 there is uh, now wheat is available before this it was mixed but now it's wheat is available so we can achieve this using this one okay uh, so here are the requirements so you need you need to install the node.js right so as you are a laravel developer and using npm command so it will be already installed this one is also installed and then we are going to install this wheat and we already installed this laravel application right okay uh, let's moving further here just copy this out and go to your application and open your terminal or simply go to your project and open the any of the command line uh, any of the command line and then paste this command okay perfect and now it's installing and uh, the second step is you need to open the wheat config file right so let's go here and at the end of this project to here this one is a weak config right so simply uh, come here and then install uh, add this import this wheat at the top okay and then for the view you need to copy this view initialization and then add it to here right so now it's added and after that you need to add this resolve and this is and this should be added here right so make sure to add it in the proper place okay perfect i have added this and then we need to create a new component to test this that our vue.js is working or not so just save this one and close this one so now we uh, installed our uh, wheat so it's mean that you install the vue.js and uh, we configured the vue.js here and now we need to create our first component to render and render the vue.js component into the browser right so we want to uh, view its output in the web browser so let's go here in the resources whenever you are creating your vue.js uh, routes right uh, vue.js stuff so you need to go always go to this resources slash js directory and how you need to structure the files i'll show you in a minute so you need to make sure everything is uh, properly structured so it will help you to build the larger project and maintain uh, and easy for easy maintenance okay so let me check the video size now it's not going bigger so just go to this js directory and here in this js, uh, JS directory if you want to create a component so you need, to, you need to first create the components directory so this one is a convention uh, component uh, components let me make sure it's spellings okay fine and then i'm going to uh, create my first component right so whenever you are creating your application so it will be already um, uh, in the vue.js world it will be already start with the app i'm going to say that app dot view whatever you can name this here it doesn't matter but it's good to um, initialize this as a app dot view because uh, it's it will easy um, easy for others to understand the overall application structure 
so i can say that um, hello dot view it will still work there is no issue right so basically i'm following the standards and conventions okay i have created my application and here uh, you need to as you know that you need to write your logic here in the template so i'm going to say that um, welcome to the view js right so i have created a, a component and i added a message welcome to the view js with laravel we need to also mention the laravel too okay uh, so we created a component and now we need to uh, render this application and then implement our um, our Vue.js logic. So we need to configure them into the app.js where we are going to uh, create our app instances and then I'm going to compile this uh, component and then mount, mount this into our uh, Laravel application. So I think our video size is going um, bigger so I want to uh, make this uh, or I need to do this in this video mm, I think it would be become longer so let me shoot this in the next one and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye